Hi, I'm Katie Palmer, Curator of Education, and today we're going to do some scarf activities that you can do at home with your little ones. Scarves are great for little kids because they have positive sensory motor. I like scarves that are very soft to the feel, I like scarves that are colorful, and I also like scarves that are very lightweight so that they can fly and you can blow them. Scarves are good for our fine motor development. They're also good for our spatial reasoning, high versus low. Uh, and most importantly, sort of toward the end of some of these exercises, we're gonna do a rhythmic call. Ba -ba -da -da -bum. We're gonna breathe, and then we're gonna blow our scarves. And all of that helps to promote self-regulation, uh, but also our pre-language skills and our syntax skills. So how we put sounds together, whether those are musical sounds or vocabulary. One of the first things I like to do with scarves is free movement uh, without a steady beat. So you can explore the space around you, in front of you, uh, and you can also explore the different levels. You can do this while seated or while standing, uh, and you can use any song for this. Uh, the song that I like to use oftentimes is a Korean folk song called Arirang. Now, my Korean's not very good, so I sing this on ba, but you could sing this on la or da or any syllable really, and that would be appropriate for your kiddos. The next thing I like to do with scarves is explore beat keeping. So you can do this with two hands, it's good for our bilateral development, uh, but you can do a bunch of different sort of motions and you can do them uh, at different speeds or tempos. Uh, Mulberry bush is a great choice. Oh, this is the way I bounce my scarves, I bounce my scarves, I bounce my scarves. This is the way I bounce my scarves so early in the morning. This is the way I wave my scarves, I wave my scarves, I wave my scarves. This is the way I wave my scarves so early in the morning. This is the way I circle my scarves, I circle my scarves, I circle my scarves. This is the way I circle my scarves so early in the morning. This is the way I scrunch my scarves, I scrunch my scarves, I scrunch my scarves. This is the way Way I scrunch my scarf so early in the morning. This is the way I throw my scarves. I throw my scarves. I throw my scarves. This is the way I throw my scarves so early in the morning. Next thing I like to do with scarves, particularly as the kids get older, is explore the shapes and the colors of the scarves. And we can do this in a variety of ways, but we can also do it so that we promote some bilateral development. So in this case, I have a red square in front of me. I'm gonna take my bottom two corners of my square, I'm gonna fold them up into a rectangle. My rectangle is a little big, so I'd like to fold it in half by taking the bottom two corners and folding them up one more time. I have a nice small rectangle rectangle now. I'm going to take my bean bag. Bean bags come in a variety of shapes and sizes and colors and materials. Uh, in this case, I just happen to have a green circle. I'm going to put it right in the middle. And then I'm going to use two hands. I'm going to pick it up on either side for my bilateral development. I'm going to try to rock my bean bag back and forth. Any song works once again, but uh, in this case, I'm going to use a Japanese lullaby called Sakura. Do, 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 do. together, bum, 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 